Hello, I'm Doug and welcome to another one of Sporty's product power-up videos. Today we're going to look at the Sporty's Electronic E6B flight computer. This is similar to the old whiz wheels of yesteryear, but much more convenient to use on your FAA test. When you open up the box, you'll find that the E6B has this nice protective cover and a quick user's guide inside that protective cover. This is a, a great thing to keep with you because it tells you exactly which items you need for each function. If you're looking for an expanded user manual, that's included as well. So let's hop in and look at some of the functions and calculations on the E6B flight computer. So the first calculation we'll do is a pressure density altitude calculation. You'll notice this menu button here has P-D slash out on it. So I'm going to select that menu. And I'll use the arrow keys to go down and select the P-D slash out function. Then I'll hit the enter. And now it's going to prompt me to enter the different parameters. So today it's looking for indicated altitude and I'm going to say my indicated altitude is 6,000 feet. Hit enter. And it asks for the barrow. And we've had a high pressure move through. So the barometric pressure is 30.47. The degrees Celsius is a negative 5, so I'm going to hit the 5 button, and then over here there's a plus minus key, so I hit that, and you notice a little negative pop up next to it. Then I'll hit enter, and it's going to do the calculation for both density altitude as well as pressure altitude. So I'm going to do the same calculation again, only with different parameters. I'm going to hit the enter key. You'll notice the indicated altitude is flashing at me, so I'm at the same airfield. We're going to keep 6,000 feet in there. Hit enter. Barrow is now flashing. And we're going to say a low pressure move through. And the barrow is now 2965. And now it's asking for temperature in degrees Celsius. Well, now it's a heat wave, so it's 91 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice it wants Celsius though. I'm still going to type in the Fahrenheit and then I'm going to use the conversion function to get Celsius. So we have a conversion key right here and you'll notice all these little yellow uh, letters above all the numbers. They have conversion functions built into the E6B. The C button has degrees F to degrees C conversion on it. So I'm going to hit the conversion button and then the C button. And it's converted it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Then I'll hit enter. And you'll notice it does the, the calculation for me. The density altitude is now over 9,000 feet and the pressure altitude is well over 6,000 feet. And this makes sense. It's hot, low pressure. The airplane is going to perform much worse than it was when it's cold and high pressure. Up next we'll do a fuel per hour calculation. So you see there's an FPH right here. To get there I'm going to hit the flight menu. And I can use the arrow keys to go down for the FPH. Hit enter to select it. And again, it's going to prompt me to put my parameters in there. So my fuel, I was in a 182, and we burnt 50 gallons. And we flew for four and a half hours. To input time, I'm going to do hours, minutes, then seconds. So I'll start with four, and then I'm going to hit the colon. You see it puts it in the hour slot, and then we'll do my minutes, 30 minutes. Now I can go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to calculate out that I burned an average of 11.1 gallons per hour. Now we'll go ahead and do a calculation from the private written exam. And this came off of our Sporty's Pilot Training app right here, and it gave us some parameters to put in to do uh, this question that's off the private written test. So it says, given the speed of 114 knots, the time traveled is 7.5 minutes, how far have you traveled? So it's asking for a distance flown. And you can see there is a specific uh, calculation here for distance flown. It's found in the flight menu. And it's D-I-S-T-F-L-N, short for distance flown. So I'm going to hit enter. Again, we're going to enter our parameters given. So ground speed was 114 knots. And then it's asking for the time. And it's telling me I only have seven and a half minutes. Well, there's several different ways you can put that in. 
I like using the time formula here. So again, we'll put hours, minutes, and seconds. So zero hours, then we'll hit the colon key, seven minutes, we'll hit the colon key again, and then it says 7.5 minutes. So half a minute is 30 seconds. So I'll put 30 seconds into the time. Hit enter, and the result is 14.3 nautical miles. And that's your answer. Sporty's electronic E6B flight computer is approved for use on your FAA tests. So when you're preparing to take those tests, make sure you do all your calculations and prep work using your electronic flight computer and you can take it with you into the exam room. Thank you for joining us for, for another Sporty's product pirate video. Subscribe to us on YouTube and check out sporties.com for all your aviation product needs.